Hi boys and girls, how are you today? So today I'm going to read the story called Seed to Plant and it's a National Geographic story. We've read a few of those when we were studying habitats. When I open up, this is my title page and it says it's written by Kristen Baird Rattini. Seed to Plant. Here's my clue that it's a nonfiction book. I see a table of content. If I want to know about the parts of a plant, I can skip to page eight. So a table of contents usually for nonfiction and it will help you if you're looking for something specific so you don't have to read the whole story. So as I go through my book, it says, what is a plant? A plant is a living thing. It stays in one place, but it grows and changes just like you. There's a water lily, a tangerine tree, and an orchid. Plants can be big or small. Some have flowers, others also grow fruit. Trees are also a plant. Plants are a big part of our world. Farmers grow fruits and vegetables. These plants give us food. Over here, that man is picking cotton. Some plants can be used to make clothing. Your t-shirt is made from cotton plants. See those puffy balls? That's what your t-shirt's made of. Here, other plants are cozy homes for animals. Can you see that bear hiding in that tree? I have a riddle for you. It says, how is a tree like a big dog? You're right. They both have a lot of bark. Ha ha ha. This is my favorite page because it tells you how you could be a plant. Parts of a plant. You can use your body to remember the parts of a plant. So stand up tall, put your feet down, and if your feet are here, they are staying on the ground, just like the roots in this, tree, in this plant are, holding it in the ground. Here, she's standing up tall. Her spine in her back makes her body stand up tall, just like the stem stands up tall. Do you see her arms? Put, her, put your arms out just like her. Your arms are kind of like the leaves or the flowers. So why don't you try it? Stand up tall. Show someone at home where the roots are on your body or the stem would be or where the, where the leaves would be. Roots hold the plant in ground. The stem helps the plant stand up tall. Leaves soak up the sunlight. How does a plant begin? One. Let's dig in. Most plants start as a seed. Two, the seed splits open and a shoot pushes out. That is called germination. Can you say it? I heard you. Germination. Number three, a new plant is beginning. A seed starts to grow. Roots reach down into the soil and the stem pushes up into the air. So here he is, the seed. The roots are growing under the ground. And as it grows under the ground, the stem starts to come up. And then you see the leaves and the roots. And then later there will be a flower or maybe fruit. This big word germination down here says, the sprouting of a new plant from a seed. It is also another word could be a seedling, a young plant. Germination. Ooh, a plant grows. Just like you, a plant grows bigger and bigger. The roots spread out and down into the soil. The stem gets thicker and stronger. More leaves and branches grow. Look at that big tree. Soil, the top layer of earth. Which plants grow in? That'd be the first thing you have to do to put it into the soil. What do plants need? Plants need these things in order to grow. See the checklist? There's six of them. Read with me. Soil, water, food, sunlight, air, and space. Water and some food comes from the soil. The root soaks them up. Sunlight and air enter through the leaves. Plants use them to make more food. Plants also need space to grow. Look at this big tree. See all those roots underneath there? And the soil's helping give them the roots, the food it needs, and the water. The sunlight actually gives food to the leaves, and the air also helps. Here's another riddle. How does a flyer ride, flower ride a bike? That's silly. But it's kind of silly answer. 
A flower rides a bike with its petals. Get it? A bike has petals and a flower has petals. Here you go, some fun facts, six of them. Number one, look at that huge seed. This palm tree seed can weigh as much as a fourth grader. It's he the heaviest seed in the world. So if you have a brother or sister in fourth grade, that's how much that palm tree seed weighs. That's a lot. Number two, scrub-a-dub tub in the tub. Plants are used in many soaps and shampoos. Did you know that? Number three, the paper for this book was made from a tree, which is a plant. Number four, a seed. One sunflower seed can make as many as 1,000 seeds. Look at that guy. So one turns into 1,000, that's huge. Five, bamboo grows the fastest of any plant. It can grow as tall as a three-year-old kid in one day. That's like your little brother or sister. That's how much growth it can have in one day. Ooh, look at number six, the Statue of Liberty. We studied that. The tallest living tree is taller than the Statue of Liberty in New York, USA. That's pretty darn tall. This is called Flowers Bloom. Many plants grow flowers. They start as a bump called a bud. Right here's the bud. The bud slowly opens, petals gently unfold. Surprise, you see a flower. Oh my goodness, there's another riddle, let's see. What did one flower say to the other? He said, hi, bud, <laughs> like a friend, funny. Sticky pollen, flowers make a sticky powder called pollen. Pollen sticks to birds and bees when they fly from flower to flower. Probably butterflies too, I'm sure. When the pollen rubs off on other flowers, this is called pollination. It helps flowers make seeds. Pollination is the moving of pollen from one flower to another. This makes seeds grow. See how much pollen is on that bumblebee? He's helping all of our plants survive. Seeds. Plants keep seeds in different places. Many plants grow a case around the seeds. The case is called a pod. Peas and maple tree seeds grow in pods. Do you see those there? Orange seeds are different. Their seeds are in the inside and the inside there, but strawberry seeds are on the outside. So all plants have their seeds in different spots. What does a plant say when it doesn't want company? He says, let me alone, or leaf, leave me alone. <laughs> now the seeds take a trip. Some float in the wind, others are carried away by animals. They take them, do you see them taking them? The seeds fall to the ground, and soon they sprout or germinate. A new plant begins. The bird carries a berry seed, and the squirrel holds a large seed. But here, the seed is being carried by the wind, just like it's windy right here in my house. Pass the plants, please. People and animals eat plants to stay healthy. How many plants did you eat today? When I'm done today, talk to your mom and dad. About what plants did you eat today? Did maybe you eat an, a an apple? Or maybe you ate an orange? Or maybe you ate some peanut butter? All from plants. Make your garden grow. Now, this is kind of like our how-to writing this week. It says you can grow your own bean plant. Ask a grown-up to help. So number one says you take a seed and you soak your seed in a cup of water overnight. Then Fill the water pot with soil. Push your seed down into the soil about one inch. Number three, add a little water to moisten the soil. And number four, place the pot in a warm sunny spot. Add a little water whenever the soil gets dry. Your seedling should sprout within one week. How about you try that writing? Have a first, next, last with your writing. How to grow a plant from a seed. You can do it, I know you can. What in the world? These pictures show close up views of things in this book. Use the hints below to figure out what's in the picture. 
Here's all my answers. It's going to be leaf, rain, bee, bud, strawberry, or sunflower. Let's see if you can get them right. Number one, this opens into a flower. I hear you. You're right. It's a bud. Number two, this part of a leaf takes in sunlight and air. Right again, it's a leaf. Number three, this flower can make up to 1,000 seeds. You know what that is, right? A sunflower. Number four, this falls and waters the plants. Well, that's easy. Rain. Number five, this buzz as it flies from flower to flower. Remember they help pollinate the flowers? He is a bee. And number six, this has seeds on the outside. You're right, a strawberry. Awesome job, boys and girls. Now, as I close my book, I want you to be able to go tell someone at home some finger facts about how does a seed become a plant? And what happens to the plant at the end? How does the cycle start all over again? Okay, boys and girls, I hope you enjoyed the story. Until next time, bye.